you guys have to know what this means. So first of all, let's go over the word that you guys already know, physiology, all right? So if you guys see anatomy and physiology, let's go back. So anatomy, I'm gonna try to tie it in so it can make sense for some of you. Because some of you guys are gonna get it by me talking, some of you guys will get it if I actually reference something. So anatomy are what, the parts, right? The individual parts, the body, and then whenever you see anatomy and physiology, physiology would mean what? The movement, the function of those parts, how those parts work together. Kind of like your exhaust system works with your combustion system. Combustion system in your car, right? Same thing, they're working together to make the car go forward. All right, so whenever you see, so fizz, fizzy or fizz, this is movement, all right? This is movement, move. Something's going on, all right? Ology, you guys should know what ology means by itself. Who knows what ology means by itself? The study of. The study of. So anytime you see this, it's the study of. So whenever you see anatomy and physiology, we're studying the parts of the body and how they work together. But when you see pathophysiology, now we're talking about something a little bit different. A little bit different. What is, who can tell me what patho means? Who thinks what they know? I haven't gone over it, so if you guys don't know it, I wouldn't blame you for it. All right, well, patho means disease or illness, okay? So I would write down disease or illness. Whatever makes you remember the best. Because everybody's uh, brain is wired different. Okay? So this literally, whenever you see pathophysiology, you need to know that we're talking about disease and function. So we're talking about how the body works inside when there's a illness or disease present. That's exactly what pathophysiology means. The biggest takeaway is patho. Patho is bad. Patho means illness. Patho means disease. Okay, something's going on in the body that shouldn't be going on. So study of how disease processes affect function of the body. A different way of saying it. If that one helps you out, go ahead and write that down. Understanding helps you recognize. First off, you need to know how they work without the disease present so you can know how they're supposed to work. And, and then after that, you can talk about the diseases. I'll give you guys time. You guys are writing. I'll come back. Go ahead and take a picture if you need to. We're gonna keep moving forward. It's five bucks if I'm in it. Ten if I sign it. All right, let's go. All right, so the cell. 